Welcome back to the podcast and uh, excited about this week talking about uh, one of our missions and one is connecting to people. And when I think of the church, to me, really, and you think about it, it's all about connecting to people. After we connect to God, then God wants to use us to connect to people. What kind of people? Who? Where? <laughs> where, 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 where do I look to, to start connecting? Well, let me just say this. First, I think, is that we need to, if we're married and we have children, um, I think it's imperative that as parents, you, tr- you teach your children truth. Deuteronomy 6.4, we, qu- we quote it. It's the Shema. It's on every uh, doorpost of every Orthodox Jew. It says this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. What does it begin with? It begins with God, who he is. We talked about that last week. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. And these words I command you this day, it, it, it shall be in your heart. I mean, it, this is all about the God connection. But it's amazing. That's not, that's not where it stops. And he said, he said, and thou shalt teach them diligently to thy children. Someone said, well, I don't have children. Well, it's, it, I mean, let, let, let's look a little deeper. Yes, if it's in the house. Yes, parents. I'm talking to parents. I'm talking to those with young children. I'm talking to those with children in their adolescence. But I'm, I'm talking to the church in general. When there are people that are children, when there are the new people in Christ, we're not just supposed to stop with our God connection, but we are to teach them diligently to the next generation in our families and the next generation of believers. And he said, thou shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up. And you shall bind them for a sign upon thine hand and they shall be frontlets between thine eyes and thou shalt write them upon the posts of the house and upon the gates. Who is that for? <laughs> it's for others. It needs to be in your conversation. It needs to be in your home. It needs to be when you're walking by the way, the road, outside of your house. It's about connecting to others. This is what it's about. Psalm 78 is one of my favorite psalms in the scripture. And it follows up this idea of others. We're not to keep this to ourselves. We're to train the next generation of kingdom workers. And so it's about connecting to people. It's about connecting to those that that uh, uh, are either in the church or on their way to coming. He said, we will not hide them, verse 4, from their children, showing the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and the wonderful works that he has done. And he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel. And he commanded our fathers that they should make them known. <laughs> that, I'm going to say it again. That they should make them known to their children. That the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. That they might set their hope in God and forget not the works, but keep his commandments. You can't keep this to yourself. I'm glad you got a God connection. But you've got a God connection to pass it down and to reach others in the kingdom. This is what it's about. The Bible tells us in Acts, and I love this, Acts chapter 2. I think it's an element, and I've been talking about it more uh, lately uh, to our church, oh, maybe the last year or so, you, you've probably heard me talk a little bit about this, but I want you to know when Pentecost, when 3,000 received the gift of the Holy Ghost and were baptized, the Bible says, look, they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, who God is, connecting to God, and here it is, here's the big deal, 
fellowship and in breaking bread and in prayers. You know who they got connected to? They got connected to people. They got connected to others. All of a sudden, after the relationship with God, then it was relationship with people. I'm telling you, that Apostolic Center, we're going we're gonna to miss, we're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. Let me say it again. We're going to miss it if we don't start connecting to people. Now, I'm not talking about running, and, and, and I think most people have sense. You know, I can't connect to people that are unhealthy for my relationship for God, but people that are hungry, children in my home, absolutely. We get connected to them. We fellowship with them. Ask somebody out for a cup of coffee. Ask somebody to go get dessert. Anyways, uh, I love y'all. I know you're going to connect to people. God bless you. See you next week.